ESPN's 30 for 30 series. First question I have for you as a fan of the series is how do you how do you pick them? How do you pick from all the amazing stories? Well, there's certainly a, a, a unlimited wealth of, of great stories in sports. So we try to focus on finding really creative people who have really passionate points of view about a moment in time in the sports world, a relationship, a game, an event that they can really drill down on and then tell this larger story about where sports and culture intersect. So really, the ideas behind the films come from the directors and come from great creative minds who happen to be really passionate about sports. He couldn't have been any more at ease on these gigantic waves. We've heard that the 30 for 30 series largely comes from filmmakers who are passionate about a particular story. So I'm curious as to where your guys' passion for Jimmy Connors' story comes from. Well, the, the US Open, although it's uh, America's tournament, is really New York's event. And we're New Yorkers. We grew up about 20 minutes away from the National Tennis Center. And Connors was always just an incredibly fascinating American figure. If I had to fight my opponent and the umpire and the linesman. Connors is a guy who's been called the most important player of the open era. I mean, he's a guy who transformed it from sort of a country club game into a major sport that would pack stadiums full of rabid fans. And he was known for his ferocious competitive attitude, and he would basically go to war with anybody he was playing. I wanted to punch his lights out. As a sports fan, I really appreciate the 30 for 30 series doing is that they they really highlight why it is that sports matter to people, how they can get so emotionally invested into them. Do you have any insight as to how you guys do that, how you bring that human level to it? We try and tell stories where sports intersects with culture. And I think sports increasingly is, 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 is a bigger and bigger part of American culture, certainly. And I, I think it's, it's true around the world. And there are these moments where if you find the right ones and drill down in them and tell the stories in the right way, you can make much larger statements about something than, than just the narrative that you're telling. So, I mean, I think we try and find talented people and make sure that they're looking at those moments that, that really matter, that really transcend the moment in time they're talking about. And I think if you do that well, you get something really, really special. I was rounding the corner on the very top there, just in time to see Eddie take off on a 40-foot wave, free fell about 20 feet down, and had the worst wipeout I ever seen.